for uh, swimming. What beautiful water we have everywhere all around us. We, at Harborview though, this, the underside of that story is that every year there are over 100 people who drown in Washington state. Mostly open water drowning and it's all preventable. If you're on open water, wear a life jacket. Wear it all the time, not just some of the time. Wear it when you're in the canoe, when you're on your fishing boat, when you're kayaking, when you're on a, a small motorboat. Wear your life jacket. Parents do it, model it for your kids, and kids do it. We did a study and we saw that kids whose parents wore a life jacket were 14 times more likely to have one on themselves. And then lastly, uh, it's social distancing. I'm sorry, I, I wish, I wish I could go see my folks, you know, in Denver. They're older and they're at risk. I wish I could just hang out with my friends. I wish I could throw a graduation party for my daughter and all her friends. But it would be putting them all at risk and then putting me at risk and the children I take care for, take care of here at Harborview. So until we beat this, we would really beat it. Um, we have, unfortunately, we've got to be careful and care for each other. Children falling out of a window. I mean, it sounds so shocking. And it's a common problem here. At Harborview, we take care of almost 50 kids every summer who have fallen through a window. It is almost always through a screened window, and that's the key. I wish that windows had a screen that would withstand the leaning weight of a child, but they don't. In fact, that screen suckers you into thinking that it's safe, and the child too. Because most parents wouldn't be happy having their kid play in a room with a gaping hole in the wall, right? Or on a cliff ledge two or three stories up. To prevent window falls, um, the critical thing is to know about this risk and address it by limiting the opening of the window. There are very inexpensive devices that can limit the opening of the window to about uh, four to six inches so the child cannot get through. And the ones I like best are ones that will re-engage when you shut the window again. So that if you had to deactivate it for some reason, it will re-engage as the window shuts. Gasoline is flammable. The flash point is at negative 45 degrees. So at any moment, any spark, that happens, any little flame or ember, the air around you ignites. So it's a terrible choice to start a fire. When you're doing your barbecue, lighting your barbecue, use a uh, flame starter rather than gasoline every time. Never use gasoline, never model that for your children. Also, remember that when you're done with it, you gotta get the flames out and the embers have to be cool. Many people don't know that embers in ash can stay hot for four days. So when you thought on your beach fire that you were putting it out by sort of packing it and putting sand over it, what you're really doing is creating a, a burning pit trap for somebody who walks through there with their flip flops. So fires have to be put out with water and stirred. It is the only way to extinguish the temperature of those hot coals. Many people now have been buying or having fire pits. And we've seen a number of serious burn injuries around fire pits. The most hazardous ones are the ones that are ground level because little kids can trip and fall into that pit. And lastly, if you're gonna buy a feature, consider something that's up and has a rim around it. It just keeps people from running into it.